Hey guys, Happy New Year. So once again, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and also that you didn't get too trashed on New Year's. So this is the first video of 2013 which I've done and perhaps in the New Year came some New Year's resolutions which we can all break by about February. <laughs> So to kick off the new year I thought I would show you my finishing process in a bit more detail. I've been asked about my finishing process a couple of times now over the last few years and to be honest it's pretty much the same for all of my projects. I either use a oil based varnish or I use a lacquer and the process for both is also very similar even on and off the lathe. So let's head over to the workbench now where I can show you my finishing process in a bit more detail using this bandsaw box which was my last project for demonstration. So I'm actually going to use this bandsaw box as the example for this finishing. Um, this is a project which I did a couple of weeks ago if you recall. And f first off I thought I'd show you the finishes which I just about always use when you see me finishing. First of all I've got this melamine lacquer, pretty, pretty standard lacquer finish. And then there's this finishing oil which you can see the can's pretty beat up right now. It's uh, had quite a bit of use, it's fallen over a couple of times. But it's um, just really the base ingredients I believe are tongue oil and linseed oil. And th those sorts of finishes like Liberon do that sort of finish as well. So I mean they're also pretty standard. So if you're wondering what they are, it's a finishing oil. But for this finish there I'm actually going to use the lacquer and I've just decanted some into this little plastic cup. So to be honest my finishing process is actually pretty much the same for the finishing oil and the lacquer so whenever you're watching one of my videos and I'm using either of these finishes it's pretty much the same it's a case of either wiping or spraying it on and then just sort of rubbing it out a bit to get a nice smooth clean finish on it. So to apply the finish now I'm just using a sort of old bit of shirt which I cut up to apply the finish to the wood. Now if I was working at the lathe which I often am then I'll probably use some kitchen paper to do that because that would just be a bit safer. And it literally is a case of just applying some to the rag and in sort of clean smooth motions just wiping on a nice thin layer and I'm going to do the sides as well and don't try and do all the finishing in one go start off with the say the back and sides and then work on the front after that has dried if you try and do both at the same time you're not going to be able to stand on anything without getting marks in your finish so just take your time with it So with a coat applied to that now I'm just going to lay it on a scrap of wood and that allows any sort of drips to come off should they need to rather than sticking it to the paper which I've laid down. And I will do exactly the same for all the other pieces again. So with these drawers I think I'll probably start by applying finish to the inside of the drawers. and then do the outside later. So with the coat of finish applied to all the parts of the box now um, I can wait about maybe half an hour and then that should be enough time for the finish to be dry and I can go ahead and apply another coat and generally speaking I'd probably apply maybe three coats for a project like this and maybe slightly more if I was working on the lathe depending on what sort of sheen or gloss I was going for later on. So with the first coat dry now I'm just going to give the box a light burnish with some fine steel wool and that will also remove any sort of lumps in the finish. And now I'm just going to apply another coat 
in the same manner as before, just light, clean strokes, get a nice sort of thin, even coat on there. So once I've done this with the rest of the parts and allowed the finish to dry for a good couple of hours at least, maybe overnight or a couple of days if you have the time, then I can go ahead and give the finish a polish or rub it out is the common phrase and that just sort of removes any of the lumps and scratches and I do that for both when I'm finishing with lacquer and with the oil as well although with the oil really you're polishing it rather than removing the lumps and other things like that so now the finish has had a good amount of time to dry I'm going to begin with the polishing process or ru called rubbing it out and that's really a process of just sort of removing any imperfections in the finish if I move it a bit close you might be able to see those little bits that have sort of built up from where it's been handled and other things like that and just sort of getting a nice level clean finish now the way I do this is pretty simple and once again I do pretty much the same for all of my projects and it's really a case of taking some of this four out steel wool and just using some of this paste wax and in this case it's brie wax and I just apply some to the steel wool and then use the steel wool to give the surface a good rub down and focusing on the areas that need the removal and I do that for the entire piece so after that it looks a little bit dull and we've still got the paste wax on the outside of the box and I'm just going to take a piece of kitchen paper and give it a good rub down to remove any of the paste wax on the surface and to give it a polish and with a good amount of rubbing I suppose you will eventually build up the shine on the wood and if you want a higher shine on the wood then you can use a higher grit this is a 4000 grit sanding pad which you'll often see me using particularly on the lathe to give it an extra rub down and then once again polishing off the wax and it really is as simple as that so there we go that's all there is to my finishing process really although i skip over it in most of my videos it's pretty much the same for all of my projects either i use lacquer or i use finishing oil i try and keep it quite simple for myself and for you also so now you know what i do when you see me finishing a project there should be no questions so with that i'll see you next time guys bye bye